I am back today with my second Reborn box opening. She was just delivered to me. She um, came from Poland and um, this is from uh, Studio Doll and um, I, the doll I purchased came directly from the artist and I don't anticipate much in the box. I don't even think she's going to be dressed. I believe she'll be wrapped in a blanket. I won't know until I open her. But um, in anticipation of her arrival, I did do a little bit of shopping and I wanted to have a few outfits um, and goodies set aside for her. So I did do a little bit of a shopping haul. Since we are approaching fall, you can see that a lot of these colors are um, fall and winter. Um, I've got some Halloween outfits and um, just different little sleepers and um, just some cute stuff that I thought would be really pretty on her. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to have some goodies. I figured I'd lay them out and show you guys what um, I had put aside. I have a few other things, but um, I figured this was enough <laughs> to um, to start with. And um, I will likely be dressing her if she is not dressed, which I again, I don't think she will be. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I've got the box open. Um, I'm ready to get started. So the first thing on top here. Um, oh, it does look like she did put an outfit in here. So that is a nice plus. So this is the name of the um, of uh, the artist. Um, Alexandra Strazil Straziljic um, is actually how you pronounce it, I believe, and Studio Doll. It smells really good. She was photographed with this outfit. Um, in the listing and it is so super cute. I'm actually so happy she included it. So it looks like a, um, a, Mickey, a mini a Minnie Mouse uh, themed Disney with the feet on the feet and the, um, the chest. Um, what else do I have in here? So this looks like it is her paperwork. So I'll get that out. And the baby, the box is really, really heavy. It's very compact. It was not large. Um, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and take her out with two hands, guys, and I'll be right Okay, now. guys, so I went ahead and took her out. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and unwrap her because it looks like she's already exposed. And um, she is wrapped in a blanket. And she's so cute. Oh my gosh. She even had her dressed in another little pretty dress, which I did not expect. Um, gosh, look at the veining on her, you guys, and the details on her skin, the blotchiness. Like, this is so real. Um, okay, so her outfit that she has on is really super cute on her, and the headband. Um, really pretty. Oh my God, she's beautiful, you guys. Look at her little face. She has, this is a magnetic passy. And my goodness, you guys, look at her. She is stunning. Now, everybody I know has different tastes in their babies, but their, um, this baby ex was very, this, this baby appealed to me so strongly. And I think it's because a lot of the times, you know, our babies that we like really look like family members or a baby we've maybe had. So she has exquisite painted hair. I really like this one. So my other reborn was also by her and um, he was a little bit more heavy with his hair, kind of closer to the eyebrows. The eyebrows are a little bit heavy, but it's so pretty. Um, she has glass. Uh, greenish blue eyes and you can see like the detailing there's like a little bit of the gloss that kind of makes her eyes look watery and her nose and um, her mouth is painted really pretty and her tongue is exposed she has really pretty ears and let's just sit her up and look at the back of her head she has she's weighted amazingly guys like I love her like I knew I was gonna love her um, she has like the newborn type of head where it's like floppy, you can see that. Um, so let me go ahead and lay her out and get the rest of her paperwork. Okay guys, so um, her here's her birth certificate. She is Emily by Sandy Faber. She was born on August 7th of 2020 and her weight is 2,550 grams. She's 50 centimeters, which is 20 inches. I gotta calculate what the grams are. I think she's about five or six pounds though. She's pretty heavy guys. I don't know. I don't know what this 
calculation is. So if I'm quoting that wrong, I apologize, but um, she's heavy, very heavy. She's very solid. She feels extremely, she feels like a real baby. Um, so um, I went ahead and just checked out the rest of her outfit. She's so pretty, you guys. Like I can't even, makes me wanna cry the cuteness of this beautiful little baby girl. I just love her. I just I knew I was gonna love her. Um, there's the details on her hands. Gosh, you know, this artist just does such a great job with like the veining or the blotchiness of the skin of what is really, um, what a real newborn looks like. I love it. I really like this artist's work, you guys. Um, so she does come with a belly plate. It is not um, uh, permanent on her because she has a, a, a cloth body, but that is, and it is gender specific, but it came on her body and she has the three, she has full arms, I can feel that. And she has um, three quarter legs with her sweet little feet. Um, yeah, guys, she is just magnificent. She is such a precious, precious baby. Oh my gosh. Look at that face. She is so beautiful. I love her so much. I knew she was gonna be a favorite of mine and that she was going to somewhat cast a shadow fairly quickly on my other reborn. <laughs> Even though, what's nice about them though is I, they're boy and girl. So, um, you know, it's there's a special place in my heart for both, but she's a little extra special to me because um, she's, her sculpt is just beautiful to me. I love her face. She's so super duper cute. Um, so not an extremely large box opening, but um, she did come with a lot of extra things because I believe what it said was she was supposed to come with a diaper, her belly plate, um, wrapped in a blanket, um, her Magna Passy, of course, the baby. So it is kind of nice. I got two outfits with her, which were photographed in the listing because um, I thought she looked super cute in um, this outfit. And I really actually like this headband because um, she was photographed in this headband. It may have been this dress, it may not have been this dress, but it goes perfectly and I love her. I won't even need to change her. She's so precious. Um, so that's it guys, really simple box opening um, for a very high quality painted newborn. Um, so I now have two and they are painted by the same artist. And I like that very much because um, they're gonna have a similar style. So I'm excited about that because I did want them to be siblings. And you know, it's funny is that's what started me on this whole doll journey, you guys, was I was scammed into buying Reborns from one of those scam sites. And I bought a, um, two sleeping babies, a boy and a girl. And if you wanna know what that looks like, you guys can see my uh, Reborn scam video, which I posted a couple of months ago, but um, I've now made it over to the to the light side and spent quite a bit more money, but it's so much well worth it's just well worth it. I mean, there's no going back after you buy these beautiful babies. So um, anyway guys, so this is Blanca. Um, I am not sure what I will name her. You guys know this about me if you've seen my videos. Uh, naming my babies is not such a huge practice for me. Um, I don't take it this super serious, so, um, but I'll come up with something. I just wanted to show you what the two babies look like side by side. Um, again, these are from the same artist and um, they are super sweet together. Um, her eyes are a, a darker shade. They are a blue green color. They do come off as more blue and his are like a green. Um, but um, their work is slightly different. He is older. He was done, I don't know, probably, I think his birth date was the beginning of 2019. So he's about, I don't know, what is that, a year and a half older than her. And so that, um, you can see the work has evolved a little bit, but um, if you look, were to look at her dolls, it's not all that different. And um, I really like the hand painting that she does on the hair. Um, she does a really good job. And the eyebrows, I mean, they just look, both look so realistic. You can tell that this baby has a little bit more blotching on the skin, um, but so does, so does he. So, but they both look fairly real and they both photograph amazing. Um, so I'm so happy. I feel so fortunate to have them both. Um, so um, that's it, guys. They are both um, Sandy Faber sculpts.
This one's Tommy by Sandy Faber, and this one's Amelia by Sandy Faber. So, um, they just look so cute together. Oh my gosh, like I feel like I couldn't be any luckier than to have them. This whole journey has been kind of crazy with trying to get me a re reborn. Um, I took a long, long break from shopping, you guys, because of the scam and realizing um, my my taste preferences and the amount of money I was going to need to spend and um, you know I just wasn't ready to do something like that so when I did it was funny as soon as I saw these babies it was I knew they were for me it's really um, important I think to find an artist that really appeals to your style and your preference because that's kind of what sealed the deal for me you guys I mean all of these sculpts can come out all these different ways depending on what you do with the hair color if you root it the painting the eye color the eye placement see how his are off to the side I mean these babies you can have the same sculpt and they can look so many different ways um, but an artist if you don't if they don't have the kind of style that is appealing to you it just it's not gonna grab you and and that's what I was waiting for I was really waiting for some reborns that grabbed me and it was it was um, it was Alexandra's work really it was like she she's amazing to me I think her work is so amazing I mean gosh she is truly an artist and I wish I had this type of talent so but anyway guys I just wanted to show them to you side by side and I will be making lots and lots of videos of the two of them and um, photographing them and I really look forward to it it's gonna be a lot of fun um, and I hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and I will talk with you later take care mm -hmm.